Okay, cool. So now we can go ahead and into our views. I'm going to go ahead and create our search folder. And then in here, we're going to create our results view. And as I've done previously here, I'm going to do this um, just with a manual MVC view page. Call it results. Oops. And go ahead and fix it. There's the typo here. All right. So this is results.cshtml. And now this is going to look an awful lot like our topic page from our forum controller. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and control control is copy everything in this view actually. And it's essentially just going to be a simplified version of that topic page. So we can um, paste it here and then it's going to be rather simplified. So first of all, we're bringing in models dot search dot search results model. Everything here is going to look more or less the same, except maybe we can say, rather than have the forum name, we can say like search results for, and then at model dot search query. And now I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this if block here. And then we'll use our search controller, with the same search action here with a method equals post. Everything else here we can kind of keep the same. And now we don't need a hidden input for any of our properties. So as I said, this is starting to be kind of like a simplified version of this topic view. All right, so I'm going to give us a little bit more real estate. And I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of this entire section description. OK, so we've got this uh, class row forum index content. Um, if I was going to do the CSS over perhaps from scratch, I might actually in fact, um, use more I IDs and rather than just classes for everything everywhere. Um, but this should still work. And I'll go ahead and call this like search index table. And then much of this should still be the same. So for each post in our model.posts, we're going to display our posts out to the screen in this table. Um, and have a row for each post. And then we did some formatting here to have the title and the author. Um, so all this will be the same from the uh, forum topic view. Except that maybe we'll add one more sort of feature to the global search, which is we'll actually display the forum's image here as well and have a link to that actual form as well, which will take us over to um, the topic view. So we'll have a div class. We can use the forum logo class and do an inline style for the background image. And we have the forum on each of our posts, so we should be able to grab the image URL. OK, so that's looking pretty good. And maybe we'll wrap this image actually in a link to the topic for that particular forum. So we'll say ASP controller is equal to forum. ASP action is equal to topic. And ASP route ID is equal to our post.forum.id. And you know what? Rather than put this link around the forum logo, I think I'm just going to actually cut it and put it down here close to the author name. So we could do something like, say, you know, by, and then we have our author name with their rating. And I'll go ahead and bump the rating up inside of the uh, this span. And then we could say like in. And we'll have a class post forum here. And we'll go ahead and paste that link to the forum in here. And then we can just grab the forum name and allow the, uh, the end user to actually just click on the forum name. OK, so that should be pretty good. In fact, um, if we want to add one more span here, we could say like on and we could add the date. So we'll do that. OK, cool. Um, and yeah, we have another well, we have the date here already, so you know we're just going to go ahead and get rid of it on this side. Um, it's kind of up to you to how, you, how you'd like to format it. So 
I'm just going to leave the date posted here in this third column. Okay, and actually, you know, we wrote a bool to see if there were no posts, um, but we could also just leave this simple else. Um, so this is for this is for if uh, model .post any, and in fact, we could just make use of our bool here, where we could say model dot um, empty search results. You know, if the search results are not empty, then go ahead and display our table here. And we could have this, it looks like there are no posts to be found. And maybe we could change the syntax here a little bit. We could say like no search results found for found for at model.search query. And so that way the user still gets some type of feedback based on what they typed into the form. Um, but the feedback in this case would just be that it didn't find any results matching what they typed. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and make a commit.